In Toilet Tower Defense, you can only have five players in a single match. But by using admin commands, you can join matches that are already full. Not only that, but you can also send other players into matches that are already full. And the maximum amount of troops a single player can place is 15, so with five people in a match, the max is supposed to be 75 total. But what would happen if I took every single person in a server and sent them into a match? Well, let's find out. We are gonna try putting a hundred players into a single match. Everyone is here, so, um, keep in mind, I'm on, like, the Microsoft Store Roblox right now, which is considerably laggier for some reason. So if it gets too laggy, I'm gonna have to join on my main. So the toilets in the beginning are at 5,290 health. They have a ton of health. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to do anything against them, because everyone needs to put stuff down. But now I'm gonna send everyone in the server, including me, into the match. So that's another ton of people. All right, we have to have 31 people to vote to skip the wave. That is a lot, but don't worry. We're gonna put down a camera helicopter in the back here. We're gonna need a lot more troops down, though, to start beating these toilets, because they have so much health. This isn't looking too good. The toilets are, like, literally almost boss health. Most people are just putting down the basic cameramen and stuff. All right, people finally voted to skip, so we're now on wave three, and I think we're gonna invest in some scientists. If we need more backup later, I'll send more people to this server. I'm telling people to use AOE units. We need more AOE down because the small toilets are getting to the back and this is not going too great so far. Pretty much everything is getting past, so this isn't looking too great. I think we need some more backup, so I'm in another lobby and we're gonna send everyone here. I just sent another 50 people here. They should spawn any moment. It might take a while though because it's definitely gonna be laggy for most people. And we lost on wave three. <laughs> That is not too good. It tries teleporting everyone back to the same server, but we had almost 100 people there, so it couldn't teleport back to a server. I just joined a random one and told people to join me on my profile. I got disconnected for literally no reason, but I rejoined, and for some reason, Roblox doesn't want to load my avatar. All right, this is the second attempt. We have slightly less players now. Well, a bit less players, but this is still way more than you're supposed to have in a single match, so let's see if we can do it. Things are looking a lot better in the beginning. We're actually getting all of the things, but, um, <laughs> a lot of people have to vote to skip the wave. We already have a ton of ninja cameramen and other stuff down, and on wave two, we're still fine. Things are not getting that far. Someone already got a titan down, like, we're doing pretty good, actually. On my alt account, we're gonna put some TV men down, just because if we're gonna win this, we definitely need a lot of AoE stuff. I told everyone to put down camera helicopters if they have them, and, um, we have quite a bit. The track has so many cameramen. Small toilets have two 2,000 health, but that's not much of a problem. Fighter toilets kind of have 18,000 health, though, so that, that could be actually a problem. Ooh, the boss toilet, though. He has 336,000 health. Um, okay, that isn't too good. We can barely get the spider toilets, so I'm just gonna put a jetpack cameraman down and hope for the best. Alright, the jetpack is starting to attack. It's at 190k health. We need to skip again if we're gonna win this. We skipped again, and I got the 500 jetpack up upgrade. This is not looking good. The boss is still at 130k health. I'm just gonna sell my jetpack and sell all of my scientists and hopefully we can get stuff. Bro, 81k health. Eight, we're getting kind of close. I'm putting in my other jetpack here. 19k, 18k. We're gonna get the boss toilet before it gets to the end. No way. All right, now I have like nothing, so we're gonna get some scientists again. My alt now has both these max TV men. Uh-oh, the buzzsaw toilet is here. That cannot be be good. Oh no, everyone still had skip on. This is not good at all. The buzzsaw has 500k health and is still just speeding through everything. I'm trying to do as much as I can, but like, it's not really doing much. The buzzsaw still has like half its health. This is gonna be the end. Oh wait, no, it only does 200 damage. That's right. We were, we're fine. We're chilling still. I hope I don't regret upgrading my scientists, but we really do need more money if we're gonna help do that much damage. There are two boss toilets, but someone already upgraded their helicopters to get Titan cameramen. So that is gonna be really helpful. I need to upgrade mine, and if we get enough 
behind camera and we can possibly do good. The boss toilet is only 50k HP. We're actually chilling still. We're chilling. I'm just worried about the next wave because wave 14 has like a multiple of those buzzsaw toilets. So like unless we have a lot, we're not going to be able to do much. I just got Titan for one of my camera helicopters. The amount of units sound is looking kind of crazy right now. But this is, you right, know, 14 was the one with all those boss toilets. So we're actually doing considerable damage. Most of them are like half health right now. This has to be the worst mech placement of 2023. We have so many AoE units. A lot of them are getting low though. That's good. We're on the last boss toilet, I think. Yeah, that was not too hard. Totally. My all accounts still just going crazy with those maxed out TV men. But this time we have a real challenge. The dual blade toilet, which has 1.6 million health in the beginning. But how much damage will he take from all these Titan cameramen lined up? Wow, he just went down to 300k. That is pretty OP. Honestly, the only way we're not dying is because of all these Titan cameramen. All their lasers on this stuff is doing so much damage. And also, it's making everything lag because we have so many things down. But we have an insane army of Titan cameramen down. Like, look at all of these. Ooh, army of Titan cameramen versus the boss toilets. They're mainly killing the assassin toilets, though. Oh, no, that buzzsaw toilet just wiped all them out. Okay, we already got one buzzsaw toilet. This is going a lot better than expected. But with the amount of units, basically everything is guaranteed to be slowed and on a fire, which is gonna make everything a lot slower. Ooh, we do have a ton of boss toilets and a dual blade toilet, though. The boss toilets are getting pretty close to the end. All of them are really low, though. Yeah, we got them all. Now that I got all my scientist cameramen level 4, I'm gonna start placing jetpack cameramen. And we're gonna try maxing as many of them out as possible because they're probably the highest damage unit for close range. Ooh, the flying rocket launcher toilets have almost 3 million health. Stun doesn't really matter. We have way too many units down for like one unit being stunned to stop things and the first rocket is already dead. Let's see how much health it uses or it loses from all the titans. Yeah, like 400,000. That is good. And we got the second one before it even passed this turn. This is actually working. Oh no. I, right when I said this is working, the 5 million health UFO toilet came out. It is getting slowed though, so that is good. Are we gonna defeat the UFO toilet? It only has 2.8 million health right now. Halfway through the map and half health. All right, 1.8 million. We could actually do this. Oh no, I'm starting to get FPS drops now. 1.3 million. We are actually doing it. 1 million. We could actually win it. This is looking pretty good. 400,000, 300,000. Let's go. 200,000. Bro, no way we actually just destroyed the UFO toilet. That's pretty crazy. Luckily, the vacuum toilets are extra slow. Since they're lagging, they just like slightly inch forwards. <laughs> Ooh, oh no. Buzzsaw toilets and the rocket toilet. This is the round with all the fast stuff. But once we get that first buzzsaw, I can max out my first Titan, or not Titan, jetpack cameraman. There we go. He's maxed, which isn't really gonna do that much against these things with millions of health, but still. Guys, this might be the end. Wave 21. I'm still just so surprised we got this far, though. Oh, wait. We're getting the rocket toilet? This might actually not be the end. We could possibly clutch this. We got the rocket toilet. It's just a few flying buzzsaw toilets. Come on. We're right at the end. No, 200,000. Oh, one of them is stopping. No, 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 no. 29k health, bro. We were so close. If just, like, one less person was AFK with a ton of money, we might have been able to do it. All right. We did a round with 100 people to see what would happen. We did a round with, like, 40 or 50 people and tried winning. Now, we are going to try doing a round with 200 people. All right, we already have like 50 people here, so we're gonna send another 50. Announcement. I'm going to send you all to Toilet Steve. All right, one more server. I've sent 150 people so far. Someone just said no in the chat after I said I'm sending everyone to Toilet Steve. Even I am going to be here. All right, we now have 200 people in the match, and it's actually going surprisingly decent. The toilets have 20k health, but okay, here Here's the thing. We have so many things down, and actually, everyone's been asking for money literally this whole time, so I'm gonna give everyone a thousand. Just because, like, a lot of people are AFK and not spending any money on anything. Ooh, the toilets are getting past, though, so yeah, we need that for this to even be slightly possible. Wait, why do I have completely random stuff equipped? I guess it's so laggy that it just decided to have me equip completely random things. The only thing kind of worth it to place is probably the the Titan cameraman. Everywhere is just filled with units. 
<laughs> this is going pretty chaotic right now. Literally, the only places without units are this back area where, like, nothing can even reach. But once you go to the front, it's just completely filled. And we have multiple large scientist cameramen down, so that is actually helping with Toilet City's health. We're doing surprisingly good, considering things have, like, 200 times health. Probably more like 150 people, somewhere around there now, because guaranteed a lot of people lagged out or just left because they had no idea what was going on. We just have, like, the entire science lab back here. Everyone's placing their scientist camera in here. Bro, at the end, we have so many notifications. We have five large scientists down. Next wave is the buzzsaw toilet. I am a little worried. Help, please. I beg my PC is going on fire. Just look at how many units we have down, though. Like, this is pretty crazy. Like, one third of people have auto skip on, but I think they kind of forgot that, like, the buzzsaw toilet is literally this wave. And I don't know where it is right now. Maybe we even got it. I'm not too sure. Oh, wait, no, there it is. It has over 3 million health. This is not good. It still has 2 million health almost at the end. I think this is gonna be the end for us. We actually did make it much farther than the first round, though. I don't know why we did so badly on the first round with only 100 people. Well, actually, this only does, like, 200 damage, so this is not the end, but, like, we're not gonna make it next time on spawns. We might not even make it because of these spider toilets, but people skipped, so I don't know. We're getting healed about 100 health on Toilet City per wave, though. Oh, we ended up losing. I didn't even see what got through because we have so many random things down. But we made it to wave 12, even though I did give everyone a 1,000. Well, RIP. But anyways, definitely not going to be able to teleport all 150 of us into a single lobby. So I'm just going to rejoin. But since health scales, I guess playing with 200 players is not the best strategy. But as always, make sure to subscribe with the notifications on, like the video, and last video, I actually forgot to mention a code. So you can actually use the code CAMERAHELLY to get 200 coins. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.